there it is. Not much to it. Just unbox the Holly kit. I'm gonna start with the injectors and then see what I can do with the main harness. Looks like there's gonna be a little bit of a repinning, but we'll see as we go. When they say injector harness, they mean just the injectors. <laughs> it's only the plugs for the eight injectors on there, so I'm gonna get ready to put that guy on there. All right, well here's the injector harness. They're all labeled. Uh, the wires are a little bit longer than I'd like. I'm probably gonna find a, uh, get a soft shell clamp or some, something to keep it stationary. Um, but it's, they're all labeled. Hook them right back up, five, six, seven, eight. It goes around and kinda, it splits right there. There's the uh, connector for the main harness, the gray one there. And it splits and comes back this way. Two, four, three, two, and one. But that's it for the injector harness. So the idle air control and the throttle position sensors are going to have to be repinned. The idle air control is a four wire. This forward one's two. Different connectors. Throttle position sensor is a few wires. I don't know. I don't know three. Uh, this is three, but um, it is a different connector. So I mean, this is the Ford kit. Um, so far, nothing in the main harness is the same connectors. Um, not too sure if the Fox Body kit would have been a better bet for the SN95. Um, but I'm going to see what I have to repin. I'm going to kind of lay it out and go from there. But um, so far, two have to be repinned. Hopefully that's it, but we'll see. Alright, well, the idle air control is set up for a four wire stepper type. Uh, it says a two wire pulse width modulated idle air control can be used. See section 9.2. There's no section 9.2 in either book. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to wire it. All right, found another little bit. Applications using an OEM style Ford IAC pulse width modulated negative. Use one of the Terminator X outputs, output number four. To control the IAC. Doesn't really give you any more than that. So slowly but surely trying to you know finding more info. It's in section eleven, not nine point whatever. This is really nice though. They uh the power and ground for the ECM is long. This car this car has a battery in the trunk. Uh, this should be long enough to reach it, and it comes with connectors and a nice loom and everything. So that's a that's a nice surprise. All right, so a few minutes in here, this Terminator X part number is five five zero nine three seven. The instructions are, I mean, they say five five zero dash nine XX, which I mean, should include nine three seven. But they're pretty vague. And it came with EFI harness kit 558, 503, 558, 504, 558, Very vague also. Um, and I mean, most of the connectors, most of the connectors aren't the same. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of repenning. So far, I'm not really entirely sure what made this a Ford kit being not one of the sensors I've tried to hook up yet plugs in uh, you know I don't mind using some of the older connectors and making it work I knew I was going to have to repend at least one but so far 
I mean, nothing really plugs in. Um, so I'm not sure what, like I said, what exactly makes that a Ford kit. Um, but nevertheless, still kind of excited to get going on it, but it's going to be a little bit more work than plug and play. I mean, it's not advertised as plug and play. This is the generic kit, I guess, for Ford. But I thought it would have like Ford connectors on it. But no dice with that. All right, little update. Uh, as you can see, there's no more injector harness. Uh, I contacted Holly this morning just due to the fact that the coolant temp sensor, um, the idle air control, throttle position sensor, all the above, uh, weren't plugging in. Um, I had done a little research. I know I had heard you're gonna have to repin one or two connectors, but this, you know something didn't feel right. Um, and I had before I'd even ordered the Terminator kit. I called Holly and I told him I have an SN95 1994 Cobra. You know, it's a five liter like in a Fox body. Uh, and then I was planning on going dual sync distributor, so I didn't need the TFI adapter. Um, the representative, you know, he, he basically said I don't need the Fox body kit, so I wouldn't need the bracket and for the ECM under the seat and all that. Um, and I could go with the, I think it's 550937 kit. Um, so I called back today and basically told him what I was running into. And he said, no, no, that was wrong. Should have got the 550937F. Um, I believe those part numbers are right on there off the top of my head now. I don't have the box sitting in front of me. Um, so uh, they're, they're nice, though. They, you know, were the RMA, the or center return label for the, for the kit I got. Um, went ahead and ordered the Fox Body kit. Um, while I was waiting to talk to Holly, I did do a little research, um, as if it's, if it's not obvious, uh, I'm learning these cars as I go on this. Um, I do have automotive experience, uh, some hot rod experience. Most of that is small block Chevrolet. Um, I've always loved Fox body Mustangs. Um, you know, the SN95, I could take it or I could leave it, um, but I love the I love the powertrain. Yeah, I love the five speed, the T five, and the and the five liter sound. Um, so when this opportunity came, I you know I pushed hard to make the trade with the guy. Um, but this car's grown on me, and I'm I'm really enjoying it. Uh, but I've always loved five liters, but I don't know much about them, so I'm learning as I go. Um, but that being said. I did find, you know, the coolant temp sensor here. I did find you're able to get that sensor with the new connector and a pigtail. The throttle position sensor, I was able to find a new connector with a pigtail. Um, these were through WorldPack, which uh, CarQuest, Advanced Auto, that sort of thing. You should be able to get those. Uh, so I was going to repin those onto the other kit. Um, found all the wiring diagrams. I mean, it wouldn't have been too terrible, but being that the Fox kit will plug right in, it's a lot easier. Um, so I'm going with that. Um, so it's going to be a couple... Of the, that's the bad thing. There's going to be a couple of weeks, probably, delay. Uh, I think it's going to ship on the 8th uh, and... 8th of June, and this is May 27th, so maybe a week or so. It's too late to do math. Um, in the meantime, uh, I did get a PCV valve grommet. Um, you're not going to be able to see it, but it was leaking back there. Um, going to go ahead and pull out the factory computer um, and try to separate the harness for the gauges. You know, like the temp sensor here. Um, right there, the oil pressure sensor, all that stuff, um, and devise a way to get that wired up. I would like to put a connector over there, um, but it devise a way to get that wired up because I want my factory gauges. I am going to add autometer gauges. Um, I like to look, you know, I like analog gauges, uh, but I still would like the cluster to work. Um, so there's stuff to be done. I may reseal the lower intake while it's off. It's pretty tempting to do that. 
So there will be stuff to come, but this is kind of part two. Um, supposed to have been laying out the harness and plugging everything in, but it's going to be a little bit of a delay. Um, I don't really want to put the dual sink in yet. Um, I may fool with mounting the MSD box, so there's going to be a little bit of a delay getting the next part out, um, but hopefully that goes a little bit more smooth. Um, with the harness kind of designed for the engine and the plugs already on it and the idle air control already wired um, in the harness. So shouldn't be much repinning. Um, I heard maybe one connector still. So we'll uh, we'll go from there when we get it.